why we're here, why this project exists. We have some funding from a government body called the Technology Strategy Board. So this is outside of the funding streams for the built environment. They fund technologists to develop uh, early stage technologies that can help uh, address uh, UK's business challenges. They're very much challenge led. And so we've applied for some funding to innovate in the neighbourhood planning process. Whilst the bill is going through Parliament, we argued to the TSB that if you gave us some money to explore the feasibility of a new service that might help public sector or communities or the whole, the whole industry, we think that would be a good thing. So they agreed to that, they gave us some of the money towards doing this research and here we are. We thought that we should actually uh, run the research in a more open way because we think the web is a very, very good thing uh, for communities when it's harvested in the right way and we think there's enough people who are also interested in that to, uh, to go and explore that with us. And clearly you've signed up uh, to come, so thank you very much for joining us. Um, we partnered with Sticky World, which I'll tell you about in a minute. So Slider Studio, that we, we're basically a group of architects, so the people from Slider Studio are here. We have Imogen in the corner, uh, who's an architect, uh, and Monica, who's a multidisciplinary designer, Lorna, who's helping us on the PR and marketing, and we have Rene, who also works Slider, but he's here representing Sticky World today. Sticky World is probably our best democratic design tool to date, and we've spun it out as a separate company. Um, it's really a, a web platform for presentation, dialogue, and decision making. Many is here who can give anyone who's interested a, a, a demo. The technology strategy board are interested in how we can change this, or extend it, or integrate with other technologies to make it really useful for neighbourhood planning. Uh, but we're all, all already working in community consultation with it. Um, good examples in London, but Westminster of its use. So the two companies are collaborating informally on this, on this project. Um, but really, we think to make good technology, we need to understand people, different stakeholders, and we need to understand the process, which actually isn't agreed yet. It's still being tweaked as it goes through uh, uh, Parliament right now. Can I have a show of hands of who, is, who knows about neighbourhood planning? A bit. And I know a bit. Everyone, I think, is in the same, but we all know a little bit. And there's a, if any of you looked at the LinkedIn group for neighbourhood planning, you'll see such interest, a lot of conversations, which is all very good. But still, there's, you know, it started, I think, where you could have three people to form a neighbourhood forum. And the big joke there was it's a builder, an architect, and uh, who was the other one? Uh, developer and you've got yourself a neighbourhood forum. They've obviously amended that, it's now 21, I think, unless it's changed. So it's, this, it is a, it's, a, it's an evolving, evolving uh, act of Parliament, which, which apparently will be enacted in spring 2012, and our job is to try and follow it and to see if there's something that we can do can really uh, help that process as it's actually being agreed. So we're going to talk about process today. There's a picture of this in your um, handouts. We're going to actually talk about it in a much simpler way, and we'll come back to this at the, at the end. Uh, so today is about process. Um, we've, we've tested the workshop we're, we're going to do, half of it we've tested uh, with the university, and uh, the other half we haven't. So this is the very first uh, full workshop. So Thank you for experimenting with us. But really all we want you to think about today, there's a few questions looking at five different stages of the, of the plan. There's a start-up stage uh, in neighbourhood planning. Actually, before I, I, I do that, is who, who doesn't know anything about neighbourhood planning, doesn't really know, not, not read a single bit about it? No, so everyone here has some interest and so has followed some stories about what it might do. Okay, so we've simplified the process down to five stages, which is about the formation of a uh, 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 neighbourhood forum uh, or the recognition by a local authority of um, that, that forum, so working with two, two, two sides. And there's obviously the big bit, which uh, 
is, I think, actually quite familiar to, to many people that with community-led planning has been going on for decades, actually creating a plan but led by the communities. Um, the, bit, the next bit then is about examination, i.e. let's check that this plan conforms to policy. It is a plan for growth, not nimbyism, before we invite everyone to have a vote on it, to the referendum stage. And then, assuming there's 51% say, yes, this is great, let's do this, let's adopt this plan, and the local authority adopts it. And that might lead to a different type of action uh, following the, the, the publication. So those five stages you're going to find today are on the wall, and also on the kits we have on the table. And really all we're looking to do is to share some insights and ideas. So we actually, really simply, we're writing on sticky notes today and we're putting them into context in the process. We're thinking about process, we're thinking about good things, bad things, opportunities, tools from the web that exist, tools that uh, may not exist, ideas that you just have. And the other thing that was really important to this whole process is we're looking for this, what we call 360 view. And this is where we're considering who, this is really in, in terms of a software company, we're thinking who is, who are the customers? Yes, everybody is the customer, the community at large is a customer, but, or they're users of the software, but the people that really can inform development and adoption of tools, whether it's the tools we're building or the tools that are out there already, community leaders, they need tools that can help them achieve their objectives. And open authorities we call supporters because the bill calls on that. They have a duty to support this process at different stages. And professional advisors, I would include builders, I'd include architects, and designers, professional uh, facilitators, community engagement professionals, everybody else. Uh, it's really about turning planning on its head, these two parties, uh, and then the others still have all the, the, the expert knowledge to support the different parties. So we need to think in those terms, and that's why we split you into three groups. Hopefully you're roughly in a group that relates to what you do. If you're not, don't worry, we can still benefit from uh, imagining. And we are going to split things up. It looks a bit like this. It's pretty simple and fun, and it will go quite quickly. Rennie really here is keeping time, because we do want to finish by uh, 4.30, is it? Uh, and then we're going to share the results. Now we're doing this three times, so again here next week, and then once in London, with uh, Design London, uh, and then we'll, we'll, be, we'll be publishing all the results. We'll be looking for other technologists, other companies that make web software to see if they want to come into the landscape for neighborhood planning and do some good stuff with us. Uh, and we'll probably be going back to the TSB to say, we've got some ideas. Different people said, this is going to be a good idea. And we have some more money to develop it. So we're kind of working outside of the funding streams that currently exist within neighbourhood planning. We're working from the technology side, but we need to work with the community in the, the industry of what's called neighbourhood planning to uh, help us really steer the direction of the thinking. Hopefully, you will all actually get something from today, even if it's meeting people, or getting some ideas about tools that are already out there. The more the merrier. We've published a whole lot so that um, we're trying to drive awareness of the, uh, the web industry and its benefits. Um, it, might not, it might be just straightforward mainstream social media that um, comes out as a you know, really useful thing. There may be some other, other types of tools that um, would be of interest. Uh, we'll publish everything on our Sticky World account for you can plan that's published on your brochures. And I think I'm going to hand over to Imogen to talk about the plan of day. Unless there are any questions now, anybody not sure about any, anything in the context of what we're doing? You can't, what I would say is you can't possibly make a mistake writing anything that comes into your head on a sticky note. Sticky notes are sticky, they can be picked up and moved, they can be scrunched up, it really doesn't matter. The key, the key thing is to uh, have, some, have some thought about any ideas and start engaging with what's effectively quite a, quite a complex process from the from DCLG's point of view and we're trying to trying to simplify it in terms of who's who's leaving at which stage and uh, 
how, how can uh, how can any problems that we might find be eased through use of good technology? Thank you. Thank you.